Okay, so we've grabbed a lot of stuff, but now it's time to take a look at audio. Now notice we're here at our uh, Snapdragon 430, um, you know, system on a chip. And it, they're using both the same system on a chip. And in this particular case, the audio appears to be built into the system on a chip. Now this is not always the case. You'll have to search that out for the phone that you're working on. Um, so if the audio is built in, then we would see uh, everything being the same. So we'll just copy this folder over and then we'll start making some edits and checking some things to make sure that it's appropriate for what we want to do. So we look in this audio folder and we see a whole bunch of files, but particularly look at these mixer paths. That's going to be pointing to the chip that runs um, the audio. So mixer paths, remember that mixer path. So if we jump into our kernel, and we're here in the Life 1X2, and we go to our Arch and our ARM64 and our config file, and we bring up our config file for our device. If we search for codec, okay, codec, and we look around, we should see a codec right here. Notice config WCD9335. So it's saying that it has a 9335 chip in it that is in charge of the audio. So what we see in here, in our audio mixer paths is, look at that, WCD9335. So we already have, uh, you know, stuff that relates to the device that we have. So I think this is gonna be the appropriate stuff. Now also, if we look in our system files that we, you know, copied over from the phone, um, and where am I looking here? System. Let's look to see if this file is in our in our device. So yep, there it is. Let's open the item location. So we see our mixer paths right here. So system, etc. And then you have these mixer paths. So you could actually just copy these ones from the phone that you already had. And we'll open up one in Diffuse and we're gonna compare it to what we're trying to put into the device as well. And look at that, <clears throat> they're identical, which means that the setup must be exactly the same. This will not always be the case, but in this case it is. So that's really great. Um, you know, you could, you should probably go through and compare each one to make sure they are absolutely identical. I think that, you know, you could just spot check a few as well and say, yep, they're all identical. Then you can just kind of presume that the rest of them are identical. So let's spot check a few more, um, at least, at the very least, if not go through all of them. So we see our audio policy comp. We're going to um, open with Diffuse again. We're going to open uh, our one that we're trying to put into our build and say, hey, is this exactly the same? And we look at this audio comp and look at that. Audio configuration, identical. So this really gives me a good warm fuzzy about all of the audio stuff that we have in here that we can probably just steal it straight from this phone. But in your case, if you're building some other device, you know, be sure to grab whatever is appropriate for your phone. And you could just grab them straight off of the, um, straight off the device. <clears throat> um, that doesn't mean we won't have some sort of hiccup. It just means that we have a really good chance of this audio stuff working, or at least mostly working. We'll see if we run into any issues or not. So we'll just check this back over, make sure we've got all of our audio stuff. Um, and then we'll just update that on our, uh, on our GitLab. So hopefully this is helpful. I mean, it's really easy for me because I happen to be stealing from a phone that's very similar. Uh, hopefully, in your case, you can find phones that have some of the parts and pieces that you're looking for, and you just copy that right over.
but at least hopefully to give you an idea of how it, this works. 